So this is part three of the DMZ. Trump enters the DMZ and walks into North Korea with King John Yoon. Okay, secretaries of defense are even involved in this. Um, the Secretary of States are involved in this. They're, all of these people are, have their schedules orchestrated by goodness knows who does the logistics of all of this, but it all does play out. And I'd say there are people that are in the know, and then there are people that are com compartmentalized who don't know what they're doing in these, these events. They're just following marching orders. Okay, so it's a mixture of all of that. And it all plays out. So here's the perfect example of the former um, Secretary of State, John Kerry for President Obama, arriving in Hiroshima on the 11th of April 2016, 48 days later, President Obama shows up there as the first US sitting president to ever visit Hiroshima and also to stand there with President Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan. I've written President Abe. That's a mistake. It should be Prime Minister Abe, Shinzo Abe. So 48 days there, the number 48. And here you see it replayed with the same numbers, the, the number 48, with the President Trump elected, uh, which was a sham. 8th of November 2016, it's all to the number of his name, the whole deal, right? Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State for Donald Trump, compared to John Kerry, Secretary of State for President Obama. And 48 later, it's the DMZ this time. So it was Hiroshima for John Kerry, and in this case, it's the demilitarized zone of North and South Korea. For Rex Tillerson, former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson for Donald Trump. So it's just a clear example of how they schedule events to mirror each other with different players, but it's all to glorify the numbers of the beast. Thanks for listening.